Good day, mates. How we all doing? So we're finishing up our seasonal journey, going for the Guardian Achievement. And of course, part of most seasonal journeys, you have to complete a set dungeon. I'm revisiting the Zuni Master set dungeon for the Witch Doctor class today. And I'm going to, might as well just do a guide and record it. Because those of you that have stuck by me for a while and you've been a subscriber from on my channel for quite a while now. You'll know that I've completed guides for every set in the game, every set dungeon for every class. So... This is something that I've done before. Consider this a refresher. So to begin with, let's bring up the objectives and we'll take it from there. So once we enter this set dungeon, which I'll explain how to do that in a moment, these are the objectives that we're going to face once inside. So the primary objectives, there are two of them. Number one, grip 150 enemies in the primary zone of grasp of the dead. There's a way to do this, a shortcut. The second primary objective, do not allow any enemies into melee range. So as a range class, this shouldn't be a problem. We're going to be shooting darts from far away. And other noteworthy mentions here, for a basic achievement, complete one objective and kill 119 monsters within the time limit. But we're going for mastery here. Of course, always mastery. For the mastery, you're going to need to complete both objectives and kill all monsters within the time limit. All of them, not 119, all of them. Please note, taking fatal damage will fail the dungeon but not kill players. Game difficulty has no effect on dungeon difficulty. So in order to complete this set dungeon, I've thrown together this build here. So obviously we have to have at least six pieces. I'll have the six piece of Zuni Master's bonus equipped. So I've got the chest, the gloves there, the ring the pants and the boots and i've got the mask of Jaram, beautiful primal ancient there equipped i might as well go through all the gear now travelers pledge with the compass rose there uh went through zuni masters there the ring i've got og child's shoulders and braces over here i've left captain crimson's belt it doesn't really matter that much the most important item we're going to get to in a second i'm using ng -om, so it reduces cooldown pretty overkill to be honest we don't really need the cooldown reduction all that much but the most important item here is wilkins reach and that will allow grass of the dead to no longer have cooldown but of course with Injiyom it reduces cooldown of like piranhas from the fetish army itself and I'll go through all the skills in a second anyway these are all the items I have equipped the gems that we're using all topaz here for the gear except for the diamond one in the helm I've got banner the stricken banner the trapped and also enforcer here in my jewelry slots but that's not very important the enemies here die easy enough the most important thing we need to do is focus on the objectives number one with grasp of the dead wilkin reach is going to be very very important we can just spam grasp of the dead until we get that primary objective then we just need to keep further away from en enemies while we're killing them and that way we're not taking damage we're not within melee range and we're going to pass this with flying colors so the skills we're using poison dart with splinters piranhas with paranado grasp of the dead with unbreakable grasp there so just check out the uh the runes there if you're interested fetish army legion of daggers spirit walk with severance soul harvest with languish so grasp of the dead very very important for this because it's obviously part of the primary objectives the passive skills Gra grave injustice pierce the veil fetish psychophants and fierce loyalty so like i mentioned with the wilkins reach in our offhand there it allows us to just spam the hell out of, out of grasp of the dead as you can see there keep spamming the hell out of it until we get that primary objective what you want to do as soon as you come across enemies though summon your fetish army and just shoot your poison darts because as you shoot your darts the fetish psycho fans there will shoot darts with you okay and then of course as always we've got spirit walk and we can get our uh, soul harvest stacks up but for the most part you won't need that I, I, I kind of run in and get my stacks up as well but you don't have to because you're going to be keeping your distance and enemies inside the set dungeon die very very easily and of course use your piranhas from far away that amplifies damage big time so whenever you got em enemies around cast your piranhas that amplifies damage big time all right so once you're all set and if you're looking for an in-depth zuni masters darts build just let me know in the comments below and maybe i'll do a future video on that this is literally just thrown together just to complete the set dungeon all right so just one last look at the items there any questions about it let me know in the comments below i can put something together for you all 
if you want something in writing, but right now, just leave it at that. All right, it's pretty basic, pretty straightforward. And you can also throw in whatever you want there as long as you have six pieces of Zuni Masses. So as you probably have noticed, I've only got five pieces equipped, one, two, three, four, five, but I have Ring of Royal Grand Jean Can Ice Cube. So that's why I get the six piece bonus. So once you're ready to roll, you can open your maps here, make sure you're in act three and you want to go to the core of Ariat. And then once you're here, you want to make your way straight across screen. There's only one way to go. Keep going up here. It's just after this bend right here, you'll see this green looking portal appear in this little odd looking corner there. No, here, right. So not that one, this one. As you can see, the set dungeon appears right there. All you have to do is have either six pieces of Zunimasas equipped or make sure at the very least you have the six piece bonus. Let's go on in and do this one together. Thank you all for tuning in. Love you all. Alrighty then, we are in. Summon your fetish and just keep spamming that grasp of the dead and keeping your distance. It's quite a large map in here, but this is one of the easier ones, definitely. And that's why I kind of chose it just to finish off my season and get my guardian achievement and get that awesome looking pet. Uh, so, if you're wondering on how to do the Cursed Pete Chest achievement, which is the 350 kills during a Cursed Chest achievement, check out that video. I've already done a video on that. It's uploaded. It's good to go. That's one of your conquests right there. The other one is you have to do a Greater Rift 65 solo, I think. So that one's very, very easy. The other one is boss mode, which I'll save for last, but I'll probably record that as well and just show y'all how that's done also. So, basically, I'm going to finish the season off. I know that I will now because boss mode, I know how to do. I've done it like, a lot. Uh, but this season was the first time I think I actually completed the Cursed Pete chest, the 350 kills during a Cursed Chest event. So that was pretty easy i did get i got a bit lucky i think i landed on exactly 350 kills um but i did use the mandanugu set so the Mandan, mandanugu build and i didn't really optimize it for like attack speed or or attacking any quick i just kind of went in there and winged it but i still got it if you want to see that video i'll link it at the end of this one on the end screen there for y'all and as you can see here i just Using Grasp of the Dead, spamming it, spam, 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 spam. And then just shooting your poison darts. We've got plenty of fetish there. <clears throat> Grip 150 enemies. So, gripping 150 enemies, it is quite a large amount of enemies. But if you have Vulcan's Reach, you can just spam the hell out of uh, Grasp of the Dead. So you shouldn't have a problem at all. So before you start shooting darts or anything, just... Just... You know, let off a few Grasp of the Deads there. Make sure enemies are affected by it, or gripped. And then just kill them. And I just work my way around the outside. I jump on in there with my Spirit Walk and get some Soul Harvest. But, they're not necessary because we're staying out of melee range anyway. So we're avoiding damage taken, regardless. Don't get too cocky, just take your time, work your way around the outside like I do. And then once I've covered off all of the outside parts, around the edges there, we're on 123, uh, then we just go towards the middle. So right now I still haven't even covered off the outside, we're already on 124, 127. So we're nearly there already, 131, 132, 133. We're nearly there and we haven't even explored the middle. Oh look at this nice big group there, 140. And we're going to first shot this. This is my first shot, by the way. I'm so confident that um, I've just started recording on my first shot. Five more enemies. Oh! Just be careful not to get too close. Like, I get a little bit overconfident. There we go. Objective one done. So now, we just have to kill all the enemies. So now, you'll start seeing me use Spirit Walk a bit more. So, Spirit Walk, obviously, will... Also work towards avoiding melee damage. Or, you, or if you run through enemies, it doesn't count as within melee range. So you're all good to spirit walk through enemies. Just be careful. And right now, I'm just taking some time. Taking my time here to explore every 
uh, shadowed region, uncovered region to make sure there's no enemies hiding around there. No, nothing here. Excellent. We've got, you know, 55 seconds left. Plenty of time, really. That should be the last. This should be the last section, I think. Chicka bow wow, chicka bow wow. Alright, so we're one step closer to the seasonal guardian achievement. I'm going to finish up this season and then start working on other games and other types of content. Really loving reacting to Japanese heavy metal and hard rock videos right now. Yeah, so stay tuned to the channel for that. Otherwise, as always, Diablo 3 videos are going to be coming at you. Stay tuned to the channel. Come back soon because I will be uploading a video on the boss mode achievement. So if you're wondering how to do it, if you just want to spend some time with me, some quality time, you're more than welcome to. I'll see you all again soon. Love you all. Make sure you stay safe out there. Stay heavy metal. God damn it. And stay creepy.